the UK commando forces training in the Arctic Circle. We're dealing with two enemies out here, uh, the enemy, the actual enemy, uh, but also the terrain and the environment. We're trying to be mountain ghosts. We're trying to disappear in this terrain, and that means that we've got to be good at operating in the environment. Uh, we've got to be good at uh, blending into the environment. We've got to be good at uh, maximizing the terrain, using the terrain and the weather conditions to our own advantage. And that's why we're out here now. Four five commandos supported by Commando Logistic Regiment and other parts of the UK Commando Forces in Norway undertaking preparations for the Norwegian-led military exercise Joint Viking, which involves thousands of military personnel from NATO allies and partner nations. The aim of Joint Viking is to make sure Norway can be defended and troops can operate in the harsh and unforgiving environment. And with the war in Ukraine, it makes this training even more relevant. It's very difficult sometimes when people talk about Russia. It seems so very far away and it's difficult to understand how you'd even begin to protect us. But actually it's been really critical to understand how important Norway is in terms of protecting the Atlantic. Um, and I think it's also really good to understand how important it is for Norway and our allies to know that we are here and that we are absolutely committed to having a persistent and sustained presence here. As part of Joint Viking, Yankee Company from 4-5 Commando Royal Marines provides strike teams. Strike teams are small groups of Royal Marines who can work deep in enemy territory, carrying out a range of missions. They'll work primarily alongside the Dutch in a simulated battle scenario. And Joint Viking is our opportunity to showcase what we can do uh, in the advanced space, uh, forward of the main body of forces, and how we prepare to fight in this type of uh, environment is crucial to how uh, we can succeed on operations. And it's that preparation that's key. Yankee Company will mainly be providing reconnaissance for the Dutch strike teams, which means gathering information, often deep in enemy territory, which can mean travelling hundreds of miles through the ice and snow. And that journey could start like this. Merlin helicopters from Commando Helicopter Force provide the initial lift and drop-off point and then the Royal Marines could travel by vehicle and then ski into their tactical position. Royal Marines can also use over-snow reconnaissance vehicles or skidoos to travel long distances. They need to carry kit and equipment like fuel and water so they can stay out for extended periods of time, detached from other troops. It takes two weeks for military personnel to learn how to drive a skidoo. They can go 0 to 60 miles an hour in just three seconds. But of course, it's not just about being able to drive it. It's then adding on that tactical element too. So you've got to select your route, you've got to plan it well ahead, you've got to plan, right, what sort of kit am I taking, how skilled are the drivers, are we going to be able to get through and move through this environment safely, mainly, but also tactically, so you've got to put in deception as well, because obviously in this environment your tracks aren't covered unless you get some big heavy snowfall, and you can't always rely on that. So you've got to plan well ahead, you've got to put in deception tracks that will make it look like you're going off another way, this can take a lot of planning, it takes a lot of time as well. you just got to make sure that wherever you're going, you don't just have a direct track straight to it. So if that means you're going to have to go off a couple of kilometres a certain direction, go back on yourself, try and deceive it as well, it's, it's tricky. But once you start getting towards our objective, we'll cache the OSRVs, the skidoos, so you won't just take the skidoo straight to your objective because obviously the, the noise of them gives you away as well. So that's when we'll go move on to skis and then we'll ski into our position. But then deception will come into that as well. So you've got to put in the deception plan of skiing and creating different tracks, different routes, a lot to plan out. As the UK commando forces continue to innovate and develop, they are experimenting with vehicles like skidoos and testing what more they can be used for, like resupply of munitions and equipment. It's making sure troops can work to their full potential to complete whatever tasking comes their way. 
Experimenting with new ways of working in Norway goes hand in hand, practicing tried and tested methods to make sure the UK commando forces are as lethal and capable as they can be. Royal Marines from Armoured Support Group are training with their Viking vehicles on the 7.62 machine guns and the .5 machine gun. As part of Joint Viking, their role will be pivotal. So what's going on behind me right now is the guys are lined out in uh, what, what is a fire support position uh, and they're laying fires onto different targets and one person will be commanding that. Uh, and it's important that the lads get these drills down because these are the guys that are going to be supporting the, the strike teams and actually uh, bringing fires onto right now targets or in the real world enemy. The Royal Marines are the only people that have this asset. We're the only people that have the ability with a Viking to move, com move commandos with commandos uh, into position and then move off that position and actually give them fire support. Which is why this training is so important across the commando force, making sure all components can carry out their objectives and are ready to operate in the high north. Year on year we get new commandos through so the, the training is, is vital, it's really important that uh, for young marines coming through uh, they get the training so we maintain the capability as, as Arctic soldiers uh, within the Royal Marines. At present the Royal Marines uh, within UK forces uh, are, are pushing boundaries in terms of Arctic training. We're the only guys that do it consistently. We come out here every year and train in this environment. Not just surviving but fighting and working in the Arctic is a skill like no other, requiring determination and stoicism. Joint Viking provides the practice troops need to stay at the forefront of winter warfare. Uh, we have a, a huge amount of capability and what we're doing out here is trying to figure out how best to use that uh, and use it to maximum effect. Bryony Williams, Forces News, Norway. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.